Welcome to Powerboat Nation Tech TV. Today let's take a look at oil coolers and the different styles that are offered. You have here's what's called a tube and shell style. And then you have a plate style. The tube and shell style is perhaps the most common oil cooler used in the marine industry today. It comes in different diameters and different lengths depending on the amount of cooling that is needed for your installation. A power steering or transmission cooler will normally be a 2 inch diameter and about 8 inches long. This will have about 36 water passage tubes inside, while an engine oil cooler will be 2 inches in diameter and 18 inches long for a stock engine. It then jumps up to a 3 inch diameter for performance engines. This 3 inch oil cooler will have about 72 tubes inside. So it is much more efficient in cooling just by going up that one inch in diameter. Inside of the cooler there are baffles that allow the oil to move up and down to get as much heat transfer through the water as possible as it's passing through the inner tubes. The next style that is used is a plate cooler and these will normally have 8, 13 or 15 plates. The more plates, the more cooling capacity. The plate cooler works by thinning the oil as it passes through the plates, which allows the heat transfer to happen much more efficiently than with a tube style. And plate coolers are most commonly used in a bell housing style of mounts. But they can also be mounted in this remote mount box that Harden Marine builds. This eight plate cooler will do the same job as this three inch diameter tube style, but it's in a much smaller package. The 13 and 15 plate coolers are for high horsepower applications and will normally require an oil cooler thermostat system. More to come on that in another episode. Have a great day on the water. Thanks for watching PBN Tech TV.